Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Waves is the story of a family who goes through life's ups and downs. This movie stars Sterling K. Brown and it premieres in D.C. this week, but it's very hard to describe, especially without giving away the entire plot. I saw it earlier and this is what I can say about it. It has a family that shows us the universal capacity for compassion, even in the darkest of times. I was able to sit down with the star Sterling K. Brown, Kelvin Harrison Jr. and Taylor Russell to talk about how they handled such a thought provoking but also heavy project. There's so much to think about in yeah. it. Was it heavy on set when you guys were acting? So they were there the whole time. They were in Florida, mm -hmm. deep in the immersion of it. I was going back and forth shooting This Is Us mm -hmm. and Waves at the same time. And it was always really interesting to come and be on set with them because it, the focus was intense, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's an intense film with very heavy things to deal with. And so I tried to bring a little bit of levity, but not take them out of their zone. Because mm -hmm. you, you know when an actor prepares, you're like, all right, I see you, young fella. Mm -hmm. I see you, young lady. You guys are, like, in it. And so if I can do anything to be of service, then great. If you need to talk about anything, then great. Otherwise, let's get on the field and play ball. How was that to be around Sterling and other actors who have been in the game so long to learn from them and get their advice? Yeah, I think that's what's so cool about getting... Um, being a working actor on good projects is that you get to work with people like Sterling and you don't when would you get that opportunity um, and there's a lot to learn because he's just like a consummate professional on set he makes everybody feel like um, that they're seen and smiles at everybody and I think like there's this um, this really beautiful energy that Sterling has that he spreads everywhere it's been hard hasn't it let go of a prayer for you. How you doing with everything? I'm good. And push you as a scene partner. I mean, when you have an incredible supreme opposite, you it just makes you better. You learn every second, and then suddenly I come out and I'm like, oh wow, I'm a really good, decent actor now, I think. <laughs> but it's because of, you know, we learn from just being around great people. I've been in the news business 10 years. Yeah. And if we would hear your story come into the newsroom of what happens to your character in the end, we would immediately say he's a monster, he's the worst man you could ever think of. But watching you and your progression as a character, I felt so sympathetic for you. And I just wanted you to, don't spiral, don't spiral, you know? Mm -hmm. How did you bring that as an actor? Was it hard knowing the end? How am I gonna carry people on this journey with me? It's definitely something you think about as soon as you read it. You go, okay, well, I have, this, I have to get here. So what does that mean for me? But what I had to always remind myself was like, Kelvin, you're a human being. You're, you were once this age, and w you've made mistakes. And what does that mean? What, what are the steps that led up to those things? And just very human things, which is just like seeking love, seeking validation, and trying to figure out your self-worth, um, and, and, and just honoring all those little beads of, of coming of age at the time. Sterling, I know you brought up This Is Us. I'm a huge fan. Righteous. But halfway through the movie, I'm like, what is it about him that he picks these dads with really complicated past? Yeah. This character just, you do it so well. What Thank is it you. about that character that you think that uh, you can embody? I, I love dads, I think, because I love my dad. Mm. And um, <clears throat> he passed away when I was a young man. And he left me with a legacy of love. And I think there's just something about that, that sort of every time I get a chance to play a dad, I get a chance to carry my dad with me. So it it's occupies a special place. I've held on to way too much hate in my life. But all we have is love. Maybe the last thing that you want people to take away when they walk out of the theater and we think about this movie, you think, because you do think about it, you carry yeah. it with you. What do you want people to take from it? Love conquers all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can get to the other side of anything with time, with patience, mm -hmm. with forgiveness. You know, there is another side. And you truly do feel that in the movie as well. Again, it premieres this week in DC. We'll be right back.